A very good evening to all of you. Based on today's exam that was held for NAT, NET exam, we would be discussing what kind of questions are actually important for you. Definitely, we would be mentioning the questions that were asked in today's paper. But the sole idea is with the changing pattern, how the difficulty level is changing. And rather than having direct questions, you are either having assertion reason questions, statement based questions, multiple uh, correct choices which are asked. So what we would do today is first of all, understand some of the very important questions that were uh, that are important for your upcoming examinations. We would then discuss on to the questions that were asked in today's paper and then we will come on to the best references that you can have for your paper. So to begin with uh, the very first question that we would discuss. Now no, these are expected questions that you must focus on. Now this question focuses on a research problem and it says that what is experimental effect uh, there are two statements which are mentioned. The first is the experimental effects are the errors which are due to the collection analysis of the data and that's due to the behavior of the experimenter. That means let's say I am conducting the experiment when I am doing the experiment, what are the errors that I can have uh, or I can create because of my behavior and that would be considered as the experimental effect. Uh, so this is a correct statement. Now, uh, the second statement says that due to presence of certain cues in the settings, the participant form an interpretation of the purpose and subconsciously change the behavior. That is very, very correct. What happens? Let's say I call you for an experiment. Now seeing the surrounding, you identify what kind of experiment I'm doing or what is the purpose of my study. Then you can manipulate your responses. So here statement two again becomes a right option. So both the statements would be the correct answer. Now note, this is a kind of question that can be expected in your next examinations. I'm repeating again, the questions that were asked in your 9th July paper will be coming on to that. In the meanwhile, those who have questions or doubts can put, put those in the comment section. Now the next question, let's say, is another question. It says research in the field of science require more fun than in the field of social sciences and humanities. That's definitely correct because in sciences you need to have lab settings, you need to have equipments and other things that are important. So definitely assertion is correct. Now the reason says only in economic, economically rich countries do science research can be a quality research. Definitely not. Uh, we have seen examples of countries who are developing nations and have brought breakthrough developments in scientific researches. So reason is not the correct explanation. Okay, so reason is not the correct explanation for this question that only in the rich, uh, economically rich countries, the uh, science research, quality research is possible. So statement two is not a justification for the assertion and not even a right answer. Now note, this time there was a question on research ethics. Now research ethics, violation of research ethics is an important topic. Here again, there are questions. Uh, there is a question that is related to violation of research ethics. We have seen in 2021, 2022, there were numerous questions on research ethics. So focus this topic of research ethics very, very carefully, extremely important topic. Now this says violating participant confidentiality. That is definitely a violation of the ethics. If the information of the participant is confidential, that has to be maintained. You cannot violate that. So this is clearly a violation, an example of violation. The next is making recommendations beyond the scope of data collected. So let's say I collect data only on literacy, but when I'm giving my uh, research results, I'm giving research results regarding the health parameters. So that's beyond the scope of the study. My study was only confined to education and literacy and I'm going beyond it. So this is again a violation. If I'm not using an appropriate research design on which I'm working, then again, it is a violation of the ethical guidelines of the research and then changing the data to meet the outcome. This is definitely the most common violations of a re ethical research. So E is again correct. 
नेक्स्ट इज यूजिंग क्वांटिटेटिव मेथड इन प्लेस नो दैट इज नॉट अ वॉयलेशन ऑफ एथिकल गाइडलाइंस यू कैन यूज द काइंड ऑफ मेथड दैट यू वांट इन द रिसर्च दैट डज नॉट वॉयलेट द गाइडलाइंस राइट सो ए बी सी एंड डी वुड बी द वॉयलेशन ऑफ द एथिकल गाइडलाइंस नाउ नोट वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वेरियस थिंग्स फॉर दिस पेपर of 9th july there were questions let's say on green hydrogen what is green hydrogen now as i mentioned before as well this is a very important topic we have already covered numerous topics which are related to contemporary development and this is one of the very contemporary topics so we have done a video where we have uh, done the difference between blue brown gray pink yellow and green hydrogen so green hydrogen already asked for your 9th july you need to know about all types of Of hydrogen then again hydrogen uh, what are electrolyzers what is the benefit and the challenges so this is again uh, something that we have covered so what you can do is simply go on to exam race youtube channel go on to uh, the home page of it and there is a search button you can simply type the uh, thing that you want to search and you can come up with results for example there was another question on kyoto protocol so we have covered all the videos related to carbon trading uh, carbon sequestration uh, marrakesh uh, action proclamation earth summit the various conventions regarding to it the 30 conventions of it so those are again important topic now as we had covered in the video if you go on to i believe video 53 yes so here we discuss so this was uh, this is our complete lecture series course where we have already talked about green hydrogen kigali uh, amendment so these are the topics that are that we mentioned are extremely important based on the current happenings so again i request you to cover all these topics green india mission mission again a very important topic for your upcoming examination ipcc six the assessment report a uh, extremely important topic right so uh, the topics that we have covered towards the end from 51 to 58 are the topics which have been newly added so all these topics are extremely important right coming on to the next question here the next question talks about a very important concept and this is a concept of isomorphism now isomorphism is used in um, algebraic concepts where we try to equate parameters so we focus on similarity of structure so for a you have similarity of structure as the right option then triangulation uh, this is a method where we uh, which is uh, in use both in qualitative and quantitative methods uh, principle of parsimony we have covered this separately as well and this is where we have uh, the premise that simplest method is usually the most preferred method parameter and uh, uh, parameter and the sample so we have talked about how the property of population is known as parameter and the property of universe known as the statistic so difference between the universe and the sample now note uh, there was this time on 9th july a question on z test and t test i would like to mention again if you go uh, up here we have covered the various experimental designs the testing of hypothesis the error testing in detail extremely important topic and a crystal clear explanation that you would find uh, in terms of what is t test how you can work on the questions related to t test so again a very very important topic that you must cover z test t test was asked for paper 1 however for those who have been preparing for uh, the second paper optional paper a lot of you have found question Uh, where you have statistics or research as one of your units in most of the papers we have seen that statistics or research is one of the units so there you have a detailed questions on uh, what is t test what is z test but those belonging to languages humanities do not find this in their uh, paper 2 syllabus so for them uh, this uh, lecture series would be definitely useful now the next question uh, another important question is on mini millennium development goal sustainable development goal kind of direct questions asked here so let's say what are the goals you have to match list so again 
it was not a direct question it is not a direct question that is asked and this is from the 2021 paper so similar kind of questions expected again for 9 july you had a question on sustainable development goal again note uh, i would like to bring to your notice again here uh, here we had covered a last video which is sustainable development goals and their target and in 2021 target 12.3 was asked so you have to not just go on to the major targets but the sub targets so within the target what is the sub target and how do you achieve those sub targets that also must be clear to you right so that's again an important question that must be covered now this is another important question this time again there was a question on i believe uh, ICT and nirf uh, so uh, the rankings now ICT, uh, uh, AICT uh, does not deal with maintaining the standards of which of these followings. So AICT deals with technical education. Now since it deals with technical education, it would focus on pharmacy, town planning, hotel management, but not on nursing. Nursing falls under a separate category. So again, an important question. Uh, similarly, there were questions from uh, education on modal this time so modal was a question from 9 july paper now modal is what it is an open source software uh, open source software which is a learning management system so again an important topic similarly from computers there was a question on worm the acronym for it uh, that's the full form for it so it's read one read once uh, uh, sorry write once and read many now again worm is uh, another important term which is used in terms of viruses so just take our class on viruses and malwares we have covered all the kinds in very detailed format now the new education policy 2020 which envisages higher education as playing an important role in promoting uh, human as well as societal well-being so definitely correct enabling personal accomplishments with no economic contribution no because we focus on skill building a system with less emphasis on cognitive skills and learning outcomes definitely not it has higher emphasis on uh, building uh, the cognitive skills and uh, bringing in learning outcomes a system with identified set of skills and values to be incorporated at each stage from preschool that is perfectly correct so it talks about the structure from the very beginning to the very end so a very important aspect of new education policy starting from the preschooling level and focusing on how the education systems would work and uh, the new education policy says a system which needs complete overhaul and energizing to overcome the challenges faced by the system perfectly correct so you have one uh, that means a d and e are the correct options as i said now note again this is a question on higher education but the question is not direct question like a b c d choices you have to fi find out multiple correct options from this so that means you have to be familiar with each option that means just solving the questions won't suffice you would require an in-depth understanding of each topic before you start solving the problems but definitely the kind of questions that come is again important now this is a question on firewall interesting to note this was a question from 2021 we have a repetitive question in 2022 again related to firewalls so firewalls become an exceptionally important topic now from a question like this what is the role of firewall we know it uh, lets us know how the traffic flows between the network and your computer system and also it keep, keeps a list of IP addresses so that uh, if you want to prevent that these websites should not be accessed on the network then you can do that so A and D become the right option it does not focus on the digital signature or does not verify the whether the data is coming from a trusted source or not but yes it does have uh, the power to prevent certain websites from entering into the system uh, so that's another kind of question now uh, i would like to go back and let you know if you go on to the notes structure here okay uh, you would find some of the important topics like isbn issn impact factor and here we have the writing styles writing style uh, this time was a question 
this we found a question 2015 back uh, so back in 2015 there was a question on APA style of writing and this time again there was a question on writing style uh, we have covered them extensively in the notes here so if you go through each of the topic you would find the question coming back again here positivism and post positivism was another important question so don't miss this topic as well uh, while discussing the lectures we have covered positivism and post positivism again in detail so uh, we have covered that through uh, the section on teaching aptitude so again an extremely important topic that must be covered if you uh, come down here uh, the questions which were related to fallacies so uh, this time there were questions uh, related to uh, the various fallacies every time we have one or two questions that relate directly or indirectly to Indian fallacy and Western fallacy how you can relate those so that's what is covered in the section that we have covered in uh, the Pramans and the different Pramans and the inferences of Hetvabhas the types of Hetvabhas uh, which have been covered here square of opposition was again a question this time uh, as always so so this was again an important question now from uh, the recent happenings many voice one world a communication and society today and tomorrow now this is known as the McBride Commission and this is about what so this focuses on the need for developing countries the balanced information flow and also the international understanding so again a very direct question that we had covered in our expected series questions the expected topics on higher education this is again a kind of question that could be asked so again there are open-ended choices so you could have ade abe ace so you must be familiar with each of the concepts with each of the theory that is written so just a superficial understanding of the concept won't actually help you sail through have a detailed understanding of the type of the concepts that are asked so if you go on uh, the section here there are more than 5800 questions that we have put up since last uh, 2015 uh, the regular papers have been brought and since uh, 2019 we have seen around seven or eight net papers which are at the minimum uh, being solved here so you have an extensive compodium of the kind of questions so what you require is practicing across the various elements now among these introduction to computers a very important topic that you must cover then similarly uh, environmental geography environmental hazards education in India extremely important topics that must be covered and also questions related to logical reasoning so under logical reasoning you would have Indian logic Western logic you would also find questions related to syllogism, square of opposition. Coming on to some of the questions which were asked this time, there were, uh, if we focus on the 9th July paper, definitely, uh, we can see that in the 9th July paper, uh, what was importantly asked was a uh, supercomputer. So there was a question on supercomputer. If you go down here, we have covered the supercomputing theories here and uh, the questions related to quantum computing. Again, a very important topic for your upcoming exam. So quantum computing, what are qubits? So qubits are the units in quantum computing, again an important topic. Uh, this time there was a question from how you convert binary to decimal, decimal to binary. So that's again covered here. Uh, theory of knowledge. The theory given by Socrates, Plato, Descartes, Bacon, Locke, extremely important. Then what is cloud computing? Uh, the various theories by Gaines, Gaines hierarchy model is important. Uh, questions related to reflectivity, equivalence, immediate interference, uh, what are greenhouse gases. Uh, then we have sick building syndrome. These are some of the new topics. Uh, coming on to new topics from education, academic credit bank, uh, then you have the policies like Nidar, Safal. Uh, we have focused on the questions related to geometry which were asked in 2021 for the very first time. There were questions on reflex angle, obtuse angle, how do you match the various angles. So the basic fundamentals of mathematics were asked which are usually not asked how women play an important role in Vedic period, Nalanda and the various other universities, the importance of those universities are important. 
then uh, questions as i mentioned positivism post positivism uh, again an important to question statutory uh, role of university uh, or statutory body in the university then vice chancellor role of vice chancellors uh, again an important uh, question the types of journals scopus journals what is impact factor extremely important for your upcoming examination so cover these topics carefully uh, if you have any questions any doubts feel free to post those in the comment section we'll be more than happy to entertain those and uh, definitely prepare well for your upcoming examination uh, with more exam analysis coming in we will be discussing the paper but i again also want to remind you don't have a lot of time focusing on what was asked in the last paper what was asked in the last paper no don't go by that you can just have a overview about that but focus on learning core theory solving questions as many as you can so it's only practice that makes a man perfect and paper 1 if you score well you are opening your gates for jrf so you can have good score in jrf by actually performing well in paper 1 and having above average scores in uh, your subject paper so this is a really scoring section over the years what we have analyzed is similar kind of questions for di for maths i won't go into those details because that's something uh, that you can simply practice on the portal and the kind of questions that we had discussed in the past papers but those are scoring because you have a similar pattern which is repeated year after year so if you practice the past questions uh, and if you go through the theory carefully if you have covered all the expected topics that we have discussed here and specifically this time we have found the t test and z test for the first time so the section on uh, research that we have included uh, type one errors type two errors extremely important for your upcoming examination based on what we have assessed so far the level and the difficulty for your paper one is getting higher day by day so make sure you are practicing your content extensively uh, going through a in depth analysis and not a superficial knowledge just going through here and there watching few videos and feeling that you are done with paper one no that's not uh, the right strategy focus and have a complete understanding of the concept before you proceed to solve the questions so t test hypothesis hypothesis testing independent t test dependent t test extremely important topics so cover those carefully and also we have seen this time applicative questions were there uh, specifically when it comes to logic understanding the problems related to logic uh, most of the questions were there which were uh, based on uh, uh, applicative aspects so how would you apply those concepts in the near future so those are some of the things that you must keep into account wish you very good luck for your upcoming examination and we are as always there with you if you have any questions feel free to connect to me directly or to our helpline number 999800885 wish you very good luck have a wonderful day ahead